Good morning, Prime Beef Patriots. Today is a wonderful, wondering Wednesday, April 28th. Today we are on the letter F for our ABC countdown. The last day of school. That means 21 more days until middle school, fifth graders. We're F on our countdown. Let's hear for some Patriots as they talk about their favorite book. Check it out. Butterfly in the sky, I can go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book, a reading rainbow. I can go anywhere, friends to know and ways to grow, a reading rainbow. 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 Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. And check out more Patriot favorite books in the hub for the next few days during media checkout. Speaking of checking out books, the last day to check out books is, fr- is this Friday. Make some good choices. Have you answered Mrs. Greco's Wondering Wednesday question from last week? Here she is with some more answers to last week's question. And a new question for this week. Hi, Patriots. Miss Greco with another episode of Wondering Wednesday. So two weeks ago, Layla from Miss Agavino's class gave us the question, why do dogs' eyes turn green when light hits them? And many of you looked into the answer to her question. And you came up with this. I'm going to share McKenna's from Miss Epifania, what she wrote. And she used um, the internet source, Kittle. And she said the reason why we see a green reflection is because there is a reflective layer of a dog's eye called the tapedum, and it causes the retina or the black of the eye to appear green or yellow or some other color. And the reason that the dog has this is because this layer helps animals see better at night as it magnifies the amount of light. And it is most often noticed in animals that are nocturnal. So... I know for sure my dogs, I notice this most of the time when we're in low lighted areas, and I'm sure you notice this as well, but also our nocturnal animals, you can sometimes, you don't see the animal, but you see their eyes glowing. So thanks, Layla, for such a great question. Thank you all for great research. And McKenna, thank you for a well-written response. So this time around, our Wondering Wednesday question comes from Gabe in Miss Epifanio's class, and he wanted to know, why do some animals grow horns and does it hurt them? So this question really is an opportunity for you to look into different animals that have horns because maybe they have the same reason why they grow them and maybe they don't. So I think Gabe's question gives us a lot of opportunities for research and to use our sources. So remember, you need to use a source, you need to ask an expert, check books. I'm sure Ms. Foyle's got all kinds of books down here in the hub with animals who have horns. Or you can look up on the internet like McKenna did and use a website. So again, Gabe's question is, why do some animals grow horns and does it hurt them? Don't forget to send me your answers to the Wondering Wednesday question and your suggestions for our last few weeks of Wondering Wednesday before the end of the school year. Have a great day, Patriots, and keep on wondering. Let's talk birthdays. Happy birthday to Cassidy J in Miss Martin's class, Jordan A in Miss Randall's class, and Destin M in Mrs. Otto's class. Happy birthday! In lunch news, we are having PB&J sandwich, smoothie combo, cowboy barbecue sauce on a hamburger bun, Vegetable and fruit choices are Popeye side salad, sweet and savory fries, fresh sliced apples, pineapple bites, and juice. April is Autism Awareness Month. We have been spending time this month getting to know more about our friends in SBC. 
Check out these Patriots in action. You do. I wash my face. You do. I see pumpkin. Good job. Great to see all the amazing things that are happening around school. Thanks, SBC, for giving us a peek at your learning day. Well, that wraps up the new show for today. Please stand for the Pleasure of Allegiance. Have a wonderful Wondering Wednesday. And remember, we are living the questions in person and virtually. Bye. Bye.